Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Kahalo Yahu, Bashim Yahu Shah, Bashim Rahakudash. Alright. And of course, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. Alright. Uh, and therefore deserve double honors. Salutations also go out to the fellow occupants that are out on the highways and byways. Pushing the truth across the four corners of this earth. Alright. I'm trying to wake up the remaining, hopefully, like. This is Nama with the DC Camp. Back for another video. Uh, wow. I gotta say, this particular video, this is one of those that, you know, <laughs> I'm uh, ecstatic over. I love doing these because. Hey, we told you. You know, and what's more, the prophecies uh, go into this. These, these people are feeling it now. It was okay when it was just us. Uh, you know, you just need to try harder. And what I'm talking about is uh, the huge downturn in this, in this economy to where it's affecting not only, it's always affected us, but now. But now it's affecting them folks. So I'll get for that. And they're not too happy about it. But I am. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. This again is the, <laughs> the black congregation. I, I so hate that. We need to get off, you know. But this is Mr. Phil Scott down in Houston, uh, you know. Uh, use it for what it is. Alright, uh, because they do have excellent topics, alright, as far as, <coughs> you know, what's going on, uh, particularly here in uh, the U.S., even though he, you know, does things over, you know, in the land of Ham. But uh, it says here, White woman can't find a job after two years with multiple degrees. Wow. And they've always stressed that. But again, that's with them. And you have to wonder, especially here in the district <coughs> or the surrounding uh, counties here, uh, VA and, and Maryland and, and the Burbs, you see the stark contrast uh, as far as wealth goes. Uh, huge dispar disparity between them folks and, and well, not even with them, but everybody else. You know, Elon does good because you got the tech industry here, especially over in Virginia. Alright. Uh, Moab and Ammon. Uh, <coughs> Chinese and Japanese respectively and then everybody else and you see Jake you have a few uh, standouts amongst us you know particularly in Prince George's County there in Mitchellville and that area there which uh, some people uh, compared if you ever seen uh, uh, what movie was that Atticus Finch um, mm -hmm. damn it I can't believe I forgot that classic movie, but uh, it'll come to me. But uh, when you saw the Jakes in that one scene in the movie theater, or even in the courthouse, they were set in the balconies, and that was a thing back in the day. And um, the Edomites, the evil bastards that they are, they refer to that as nigger heaven. The same would apply to Jakes that are affluent, all right, because in the eyes of our oppressor, that's as close to heaven as you ever want to get. All right, uh, to kill a mockingbird. Damn. <laughs> anyway, so um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I just love things like this. I love doing especially videos like this because you know they. 
<laughs> Let's go ahead and roll the video. <laughs> For years, black Americans have been told when we say we can't find jobs, even with degrees, even with master's degrees. Mm -hmm. For years, we were told we need to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. Yep. We were told that we're not looking right. Oh, we don't know how to fill out a resume. So many different things we were told is not racism, right? It's just it just you just not being hired. Well, I'm seeing more and more stories of the folks starting to sound just like black people in the area of hiring. Case in point, the woman I'm going to show you now. Let's go ahead and roll that. This video is for recruiters, hiring managers, and employers. If you're not one of those people, scroll past this video. I'm done. I'm done. I've been applying to jobs for the past two years since I graduated. I graduated college almost two years ago. I have two degrees. I had two internships in college. I was top of my class. Since graduating, I have published a book. Okay, I wrote and self-published a book. And yet that's still not good enough for you people. You still want five to ten years of experience for an entry-level job. Where do you think we're supposed to get this experience if no one wants to hire us? Well, How are we supposed to get the experience if no one wants For those of you out there, does it not sound familiar? Like, hmm, I, I just can't seem to put my finger on it. Man. Seem like I've heard and read that before. Something like that. Yeah. But now that the shoe is on the other foot. Oh, now it's a problem. It's to hire us without experience. Like, make it make sense. It doesn't make any sense. And then today, for example, I was all excited. I had an interview for this fancy PR firm in Denver because I'm moving to Denver like next week. And I actually thought that I had a chance of getting this job. I know that Again, I have to stop it right there because, wait a minute, you, you're doing this for two years. It's got to be you have family behind you. Something else that's rare with Jake. You know, those exceptional uh, Jakes I mentioned that live, you know, especially here in the DMV. Uh, maybe. Maybe. You know. Uh, but. Like you always tell us, get something until you can, you know, something in your field opens up. Ah, but those, see here's where the double standard comes in. Let's continue. That sounds pathetic, but I got really excited. I got my hopes up. I spent two hours prepping for the interview all morning. I got dressed up, straightened my hair. And then five minutes into the Zoom call, I get an email from the founder, the CEO, of the company saying oh sorry we already filled the position and we forgot that um or i forgot that this interview was like already scheduled like she forgot about the interview and i'm just like <laughs> i literally like you couldn't have told me this sooner i spent my entire morning getting ready for this interview just to find out they already filled the position like, that is so disrespectful. That is so unprofessional. Like, I don't care how important you are. Like, if you're a CEO, whatever, I don't care. That's unprofessional. You don't do that to people. Like, I'm still a human. You I'm still don't a person say. with feelings. And also, like, time is precious. And I spent all morning preparing for this interview that you <coughs> haven't thought about. And you didn't even tell me until, like, five minutes into the interview. Now, does that sound familiar, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> That exact same thing that she said mm. has been what black people have been saying forever. Yep. Now I'm seeing more and more white people. Let's get some scriptures real quick because, hey, I'm over here. You, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving this shit. Uh, this is uh, Psalm chapter seven, verse fourteen. Behold, he travails with iniquity and hath conceived mischief and brought forth falsehood. He made a pit. <clears throat> And digged it, and is fallen into the ditch which he made. Oh. See, and as we go down further here, in the months to come, for those of you that hadn't heard yet, Trump was found guilty on 30 plus counts. All right, uh, you had, do I still have that? Oh, let's see. No, 
damn it, I wish I had a thought to, we had people camped out, you know, uh, uh, what do you call that, um, like meditating and, you know, and, and prayer and, and it was all kinds of, uh, what's, what's the guy, the, 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 the shaman guy that got arrested, the one that was dressed as a shaman, uh, <coughs> you had motherfuckers imitating him, you know, in costume and shit, uh, it was, <laughs> but see, this is the thing, um, the question was, well, was the election already over, uh, you know, you, my thing is, you're messing with the right ones now, because <coughs> from here, this is the 30th, getting ready to be like an hour and 15 minutes left in it, or so. So you might as well say 31st, May. So you got from, yeah, let's just say June 1st until uh, November 2nd, that week, whatever have you. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. So you got five good months here should be very interesting because we know that these folks can't handle this kind of adversity that's coming. Alright, uh, they were complaining on the news just here locally, I don't know about wherever you, you Akim or a few Akwas that are watching are at. Here in this area, uh, the local stores, you can't carry, you know, uh, backpacks or anything like that in the stores now because of the high rate of theft, so they're, you know, said, nope, no backpacks or anything, if you got bags that you normally carry, you know, open, that don't close, that you carry your groceries in, that's fine, but I'm like, you know what, whatever, uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of them folks, again, complaining about stuff like that, and, you know, it's a racial component in it, uh, <laughs> we're seeing these things and it's smiles on our faces because not only are we <clears throat> more than happy about seeing these prophecies being fulfilled and there's a little I told you so because you know years and years have gone past and people say you all are crazy and mocked us you know there's that little, little bit of thing in there but that comes with you know the work that we do oh well but the thing is <laughs> as in this video more and more you're seeing it affect the people that have never been affected like this and that's what's so beautiful about it because your people set these traps for us a long time ago to keep us from progressing, to keep us from um, generating wealth that we could pass on down to our offspring, to our project, on purpose. Once again, alright, check it out if you don't have it. It goes into how they paper fucked us along with every other way they could. Alright. So again, that's why these scriptures are coming up. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. 16. His mischief shall return upon his own head and his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate. It was so nice he had to say it twice. Alright. And that's... <laughs> Hey, there's no escape, you pieces of shit. Alright, you're... <laughs> he really thinks, I'm talking about the so-called white man, the, uh, the nation of Edom. Alright, because again, this is not a color thing, per se. Alright? <clears throat> but the people that are ruling this world are the nation of Edom. Alright? That very name, alright, that means red. I don't want them. All right. 16. I'll read it again. His mischief shall return upon his own head. That is a guarantee, people. And his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate. Yeah, here. Uh, 
This is Malachi 2 verses 3 and 5 says, Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast, and one shall take you away with it. Alright. Now, we have, because this is talking about right here, uh, we've gone through ours. It's your time. It's your time for your sins of being found out. I'm talking about you, you Edomites. Alright. Alright. You did everything in your power. Alright. To keep us in this lowest state. Alright. Scripture said that our, our captivity is, alright, is, uh, has had its end. Alright. You furthered the affliction. Alright. You did these things in hopes that we would be a permanent underclass, as some have warned that we would be. Alright. And if without the Most High, that would surely be the case. Alright. But all these people that write these books and are otherwise on point as far as worldly view is concerned. You know, they forget that there's a spiritual aspect to it. Alright? And they don't realize who we really are. Alright? In the grand scheme of things. And that's why they uh, fall off in their predictions. Alright? So, uh, let's see. Uh, chapter 9 says the same thing here. Uh, let's go back to the video. Experience this. See, I told y'all the time is coming where their skin is not going to mm -hmm. get them in the door no more. Mm -hmm. The time is coming where they have to shut up or show up. That's it. They'll have to compete with all the different races of people. And when we were saying this, Remember people like her would get in with no degree? Yep. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. And now she can't even get in with a degree now. She can't. Real quick, because I remember cases where Jake would bust his ass to get these uh, college degrees and everything. And what them folk would do was hire someone that looked like them that was straight out of high school and fill that position. Degree be down. All right. And it's not just her. It's many of them. And on top of she she has degrees. They say five, ten year experience. Realistically, she couldn't get five, ten year experience if she don't have a job. But that's what they told us for years, too. And, and when we said it, they told us everything in the book. We just being lazy, X, Y, Z. Well, ma'am, I guess you're being lazy. Two years without a job? You, you're just not looking for one. You're just turning down a job, mm -hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Why don't you get a job at McDonald's? Start there. there That's what go. we've been told. Put a degree. Yep. Well, get a Walmart job. At least it's something. That's what we've been told, right? You don't want to work because you will take any job they give you. That's what black people were told the whole time. The black person said, no, nah, I didn't go to college to go work at McDonald's or Walmart. What are you talking about? I got this degree to go work in my field. Well, just get any kind of job. So so you sit up here with, with a degree. They came in. And what do they hit Jake with in occasions like that? Well, sir, you're overqualified, it seems. <laughs> you can't win. <laughs> All right. <coughs> student loan debt. You're supposed to be paying back your student loan debt, and you can't because there's no job for you. You understand? I know from hiring people that most people will not come in with the experience that you want them to have. Even if they have some experience, you have to train them into what you want. And also at the same time, give people a chance to grow and develop. Because let's say when I bring people in, I have to give them time to grow and develop. It took me time to grow and develop. So I understand it's going to take a person, as long as they have a good work ethic about themselves, I know it takes a person about six months to a year to develop their own personality and things like that. That's how long, how long it's taken on average what I've noticed. If I try to judge them what I think they could be on day one, that's not going to it's not gonna work. I wouldn't have nobody. Every person we brought in, it takes that long. Some people, I've seen some get there in like three months. 
But then, like I say, six months to a year. And now like, okay, they're good. That's why I don't even focus on if a person's viewership at first. I just focus on the development of the personality, development of the uh, of, of what we're doing, knowing how the system works here, whatever. After about a year or so, I already know you'd be fine. Right? So it really don't even matter about five, ten year experience or anything, because you gotta train them into how you want them to do things. Don't they, and even if they have five and ten years experience, doesn't mean they know exactly how the way you want it. So that's BS. But these corporations like to play with people. And also at the same time, what she's not discussing is when Joe Biden... Yeah, because no matter... Like he says, it's bullshit. Because at, at some point along the way, you're going to have to uh, engage in some form of OJT on the job training for what they specifically want you to do for them. All right. Uh, like I say, that all this shit is rigged against Jake, and uh, now they can't hide it anymore. That's basically what's happened. All right. Uh, <laughs> and all this that they've done to us, they're finding out, well, uh, they're not exempt from that. Like I say, this is going to be an interesting next five months. Will there even be an election? Because let me tell you, these people, these Trump supporters, these far-right pieces of shit, all of it's bullshit, whether you're on the left or the right. I just want you to know that, all right? They are butthurt to the nth degree. They are pissed, especially after this verdict just came down. 30 plus counts guilty. Now, the question is, is this, after all of this, because I've always looked at this as this, this is trying to, the elite's trying to just rein him in. Hold that boy. Hold that. Of course, there's the next option I'm not going to mention. Uh... Trying to get him to rein him in. Hold that, cool, cool your heels there, boy. Now you gonna do what we want you to do? We'll let you back in here. All right. Uh, are these? I mean, it's more to come, sure. But at this stage, it's just something that, like I said, the question has been. I've seen it uh, passed around here. Well, is the election already over? Hmm. All right. Like I say, these people, hey. My thing, my advice to the Akim out there, and, you know, A, watch where you are, especially when it's around large groups of people. Uh, do your business. Get back inside uh, because we're in a <laughs> uh, coming in dangerous times now. Oops. Edomites can come shit like this, they don't play. Alright? Just as a uh, warning there. Uh, back to the video. Brought in 7 million people to this country. There's 7 million people that want jobs. And out of those 7 million people, some of them have degrees too, from other countries. And they will take less money. So, you don't want $17 an hour? A migrant will take it all day long. You understand? And many of you are going to suffer that because even if Joe Biden is voted out of office, those people are already here. And realistically speaking, Trump can't deport them all. He can get some out, but he can't get them all out. He can't. So with him doing, with, with, with Biden doing that, and a lot of these jobs, people are going to take the $17 you, didn't, you say wasn't enough, or even less. Mm -hmm. That's going to get you. And then in the future, mm -hmm. AI, that's going to get you too. Migrants and AI. Probably AI more than the migrant. Now for those of you that mocked uh, the issue of Jacob's trouble when it was brought up, can't you at this point not see how this is shaping up to be Jacob's trouble? See, you mocked Northern Kingdom. Their strategy of living so many to one household 
but consider this they can take a lower wage all right uh, because they have more uh, people bringing in income to that one household to whereas Jake wants to do everything about them themselves all right pride and whatever else is going on there uh, they don't want to do that they want to have you know <laughs> it, it, it's crazy it, it really is uh, Whew, a little bit more right so you better learn something that you're valuable with you better go learn AI you better go to some conferences about AI about employing AI you better go learn because you'll be left behind this is why years earlier like just, just pick the 2008-2009 uh, era where a lot of people then saw the writing on the wall and they moved out the country. All right, they went to uh, wherever they went. I heard people talking about well, uh, going over to China. Uh, uh, and I'll say this in regard to that with these Edomites, because it's coming to a point where people don't want them around them anymore. It's not like. 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago where, you know, a little iffy on the 20, but definitely 30, 40, and 50 years ago, uh, still the so-called white man couldn't do anything, couldn't do any wrong. But now? Oh no, 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 no. All this shit coming out about the shit, you know, the, the uh, wickedness that you've done behind the scenes to your so-called allies, no less. Alright. All this, like it says in Habakkuk, you know, shameful spewing on, on your glory. Alright. It's tarnished. There's no going back. <laughs> uh, you're done. It's over. I ain't gonna sing the song because it'll be out there forever. You know, that Roy Orbison. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah, you, you threw it, all right, and it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, we'll get one, uh, a little bit more here. See, me, I tell all y'all, I will embrace AI. I have embraced it. I want to learn it, I want to employ it, and everything else, because I'm not going to be left behind. Complaining, oh, the AI is taking all the, no, 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 AI ain't doing nothing. How to use it and how to utilize it. Because they said the same thing about the modern computer. All the computers taking all the jobs. Yeah, but again, jobs people. when sure it comes did. to us, that's only going to go so far. All right. But you have to learn how to work with it and get in when you fit in. But the folks are starting to suffer some things. That we see, they, see everything black people have said to y'all over the years. We warned y'all. We told y'all. Y'all didn't listen to us, and now y'all suffering the consequences. Mm -hmm. Y'all suffer. Next time, listen to Black America. Well, we're not coming to save you. We're not here to save you. Oh, no. I'm just telling you. <laughs> no, no, no. Listen no. to us and help fix the problems in the system in this country. Maybe you wouldn't be suffering right now. Ain't no saving these motherfucker. <laughs> it's old. See, I almost did it. Nope, 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 nope. So let me get this and finish it out with this. All right, this is going to be the book of Sirach or Ecclesiastic Cuss. Hold on now. And we are going to get. Uh, let's see. 27. Scroll on down here. Toward the end. And 27 it says, He that worketh mischief, it shall fall upon him, and he shall not know whence it cometh. Why? Mockery and reproach are from the proud. And there's no more proud people on this earth than an Edomite slash so-called white man. Alright? Because he actually runs this shit. Uh, earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? Job 9.24 The elite banksters, I said it that way for a reason, are on this world. Mockery 
and reproach or from the proud. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 18. But vengeance as a lion, and things that lion represent, shall lie in wait for them. Why? Verse 29. They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous shall be taken in the snare, and anguish shall continue. I'm sorry, and anguish, let me read it again. They that rejoice at the fall of the righteous, which they surely did, all right, book of Obadiah, shall be taken in the snare, and anguish shall consume them before they die. And that's what's going on now. And at some point they're going to complain of an ungodly father, as the scripture said. But it's over. I almost did it again. It's over for him. It's over. And it's a beautiful thing to see. So rock, since we're here, 25 and 7. Alright. And it says, There be nine things which I have judged in my heart to be happy and the tenth I will utter with my tongue a man that has joy of his children which he really can't have here alright for <laughs> which should be obvious reasons and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy and this is the phase that we're in now we're seeing this you know on Yahweh Shai said in Luke uh, uh, 10 and 18 you know say he's fallen from heaven uh, let me get that. And it sure is. Uh, this is what's happening to the bastard. Alright. Luke 10 and 18. And I saw Satan. Let's see. Here we go. He said unto them, him being his disciples, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven, falling from his 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 kingdom, his status as the ruler. All right. It's over. <clears throat> it's over. That heaven there is talking about rulership. All right. Hey, so that once again, I'm gonna leave it there. Um, once again. I hope whoever views this video is edified as to what's really going on. We filter everything through the scriptures here at Great Millstone. I encourage you to look up words. And in other words, do, you know, your research. All right? And I also like to stress and uh, bring up again the issue of prayer and fasting because it does indeed work. So with that, until the next video, shalom, shalom, shalom. All right. <clears throat>